The 2018 NCAA convention closed with the continued effort of improving the overall student athlete experience. The Division I Council adopted a new rule establishing an official start date for the basketball season. The Board of Governors and Division I Board of Directors committed to swift action on the future recommendations from the Commission on College Basketball. The Division I Autonomy Forum addressed medical coverage for student athletes during and after their collegiate career. Division II approved additional funds being added to the championship's budget. Division III reinforced the value of input from the Division III SAC and their impact on the Council's decisions. Award ceremonies were conducted during the honor celebration, plenary session, and association luncheon, recognizing many former college athletes and administrators for the positive impact they have created. The Gerald R. Ford, Pat Summit, Theodore Roosevelt, Diversity and Inclusion, Inspiration, Valor, Silver, and today's Top 10 awards were presented to the deserving recipients. President Emmerich also gave his State of College Sports Address. In it, he talked with Elena Wu, Chair of the Student Athlete Engagement Committee, about the importance of the student athlete voice and vote in the governance process. And President Glenn Jones about his role overseeing a new strategic planning process for the association. All of these meetings and events are covered in full detail on NCAA.org, so be sure to check it out for more information. Thank you to all in continuing to support the almost 500,000 student-athletes.